Guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another, actually we're going to play some, welcome to another Legacy video here. Uh, we're going to be playing some uh, Arena Academy, so some Rector, damn near killed her. And this is just a deck that Josh VS brewed up. I'm a huge fan of this deck, this is probably one of my favorite decks in, in Legacy, with both Academy Rector and Arena Rector, because I just like the idea of being like, Oh, I'll sack my veteran explorer to Phyrexian Tower. I'll make two mana. I'll play this. I'll sack this to a Phyrexian Tower or Cabal Therapy. I'll search for one of these big dumb idiots. Uh, the 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 uh, the caveat here is that Josh's version plays Doubling Season, and uh, Josh is like, I just brewed this up. It also has Diabolic Intent, which is sweet because it's just another way to sacrifice either a veteran explorer, Academy Rector, or Arena Rector. So we actually have ten creatures that we're looking forward to sacrificing. Um. And an evolutionary leap is also a nice touch. So, one talent trooper in the sideboard. I feel like we we probably want it in the main deck so that we can get it with. Uh, I guess we can't. I guess we can't sack. I guess we can't search for creatures. We're searching for planeswalkers and enchantments. Either way. Either way. Let's let's see how this goes. I'm gonna see. Um, I'm gonna see if this uh this two player queue fills up. I still think Sylvan Library should be in the deck. I think Sylvan Library should be in most green decks. Hmm. Alright, if we're all agreeing that Sylvan Library should be in here, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take out one diabolic intent for for a library. Okay, searching for library was not ideal. So we still get one Diabolic Intent, but we also get one Sylvan Library, which is nice. Alright. Let's do it. Let's see how it goes. All right, well, now we just have to hope this queue fills. If not, we might just join a league. How many players are in? Competitive Legacy League? Woof! Is there no friendly Legacy? No one plays friendly Legacy. <laughs> All right, let's do it. What do we name with Cavern? Human? I feel like we name Human, right? This feels keepable. We can't cast these, but... Oh, we're facing against Aaron the Relentless. Yeah, I figured the Explorers were human. It's like, I'm going to play this cavern and him human, but I, I'm so not afraid of what you might do that I'm just going to actually play the veteran explorer uh, without the cavern. I was not under any impression they dazed this guy. Oh, boy. Welp, see you later. All 
Well, that's sad. We have no course to victory here is why I'm conceding. They're going to get a gristle brand out and we have nothing to really draw that puts us back in this game. Uh, I don't care about Bitter Blossom in this matchup. Doubling season might be too cute for this particular matchup. Anything else we want? Cannonist, Knight of Autumn, Leyline, Abrupt Decay. I think that's probably all we're looking for. This is a keeper. Any hand where you like open with a planeswalker and you don't have a, a way to sacrifice one of these guys, it's almost a little rough, but. Just get rid of Faithless Looting, I guess. I'm not too afraid of. Assassin's Trophy Ritual or Reverence Silence. Oh, they just started both reverence silences. I guess they're not that afraid of enchantments after all. I have not tried the new Coke Zero orange vanilla flavor yet. That sounds like a little too many tastes, but is it good? Nope, don't do that. Let's Thought Sneeze you. Dismiss these. Let's get rid of Unmask. And then we can get rid of bloop, 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 bloop. So next time we can play Rector and we have Cabal Therapy in the graveyard to immediately activate it. They do have Assassin's Trophy, but... Well, okay. So the nice thing is we can rip that... We can rip the... Uh, we can rip the Assassin's Trophy out of their hand, which is pretty gas. Oh no! This triggers first? I guess it goes on top. Oh no, this is actually terrible! Oh, the, the triggers! That's not what I wanted to do at all, because now they get to Assassin's Trophy it. Oh no! Everything is terrible! <laughs> 
I mean, on the right side, if we hit one more land, we get to... Uh... Oh, Gristlebrand. Literal Gristlebrand in hand. Well, we have Assassin's Trophy, so that's nice. You have to find a way to discard this and reanimate it. So, one more land. Perfect. That is definitely a mistake you make once, because you're like, okay, now I know how these triggers work. I will never do that again, because... Soren is negative nine. Are we just going to be able to soar in here? Are we going to ultimate Soren in this legacy game? Dang it. Dang it. We would have been able to make 16 gentlemen. Draw on that. Yeah. I almost don't hate Knight of Autumn. I think Pernicious Deed is actually probably pretty terrible in this matchup, right? Knight of Autumn seems infinitely better. We should have taken the took a, we should have taken the Pernicious Deeds out. Uh, because this actually kills uh, ancient anime dead ancient huh? ancient anime dead I worry that they're going to get a forest and play the other card, the enchantment rule card. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, there's a forest. Oh, just the thoughtsies. Just the thoughtsies. <laughs> you took mine, mine thoughtsies. That's how Nightcrawler would say it. You took mine thoughtsies. Because he's German. Oh, and they did, they had this anyway. That's good. That's nice. Well, what are the odds you have in Tomb and then an animate, a reanimate spell? Come on, that's just, that would be really lucky. Oh, you didn't have any other land. Fascinating. What do we name here? Yep, had a feeling you were gonna do that. I think we're naming Exhum. I think, yeah, also Exhum. I feel like you're, yeah, I mean, they could have reanimate. And we whiff. Gristlebrand, Gristlebrand, Thoughtseize, Faithless Looting. Well, that seems terrible. I guess we just take Faithless Looting because we have to. 
or Thoughtseize, rather. I guess then they get Faithless Leading to discard the two Crystal Brands, and it makes it pretty easy to... Do they have a basic... I, I doubt they have a basic mountain, though, right? Oh, I sacked the wrong one. God, there's so much going on in Legacy, dude. So now we have Gristlebrand, Faithless Looting, Gristlebrand. All right, so if they end up... Did you ever read the Man-Thing comics from Marvel? I actually never read Man-Thing. I don't... Um, either Man-Thing was a ripoff of Swamp Thing or Swamp Thing was a ripoff of Man-Thing. It's hard to tell. I don't remember which came first. That's a real chicken of the egg situation. All right. Sacrifice. <gasps> I guess we'll attack first. Yes. All right, so we can get. I think it's actually just Nicol Bolas here, right? We could actually sacrifice Dryad Arbor to put Link to play Lingering Souls. I don't think it matters. Ashen Rider. Yep, that guy's good. All right, so next time we get to Ultimate Nicol Bolas, I don't think one black is going to be enough to really do much. If they get back Ashen Rider, it sucks, because they can get rid of Nicol Bolas, and we don't really have a way to deal with that. Eleshnorn, sure. So it literally has to be Reanimate. They have to hit a Reanimate, or a Dark Ritual into... But they didn't have a Reanimation spell last turn, when there was, like, infinite gristle brands in the graveyard. Why? I don't understand that. I don't understand what happened here. Because you had if you had to either draw the animate you had to draw the animate to this turn right because you had to just be holding dark ritual last turn. Like you're having to be dark ritual in tomb last turn, I guess. I mean, I think they were hoping for, like, Black Land Reanimate, which then... But they can't actually reanimate Ashen Rider, right? Like, they can go Dark Ritual uh, Exhum. Hmm. I mean, I'd much rather just ultimate Nicol Bolas, right, and deal 7 damage to them. 
Like, I feel like I'm missing something. I always feel like when whenever my opponent does stuff like this, I always feel like I'm missing something and they're going to wreck me. Yeah, and this is the, they're just going to, like, exhume here or something. They have to sleep again. Okay. The funny thing is we still actually have lethal here uh, because we can attack with all six guys. They block one and we can sacrifice the one they block so they don't gain life. zooming yeah oh actually this still wins us the game this is hilarious yep because now they have two blockers we attack for yeah this is this is amazing that is fine This is hilariously, this is hilariously good. Got him. <laughs> oh yeah, preventing that life gain from uh, Gristlebrand choice i'm gonna be honest i don't think i don't think i like the doubling season it seems very win more if you're getting a nickel bolus or an overwhelming splendor i am the last guy that would say that but uh it definitely has a win more feel to it because it's like i'm never gonna the, the problem is like you're not gonna search it out with academy rector right you're never gonna search out this and then also have uh a planeswalker to search out like usually it's one or the other right Can we make a deck that is all win more? <laughs> uh, but then how do you win? You gotta have win before you have the win more, right? The win more is just the topping for the win. Oh. Yeah, that was actually, that was a satisfying win. Uh, Oath of Teferi would not be better just because A, it's blue, and B, uh, if you Oath of, if you have doubling season, you can ultimate all of these the turn they come into play. So you can negative 10 Ugin, you can negative 9 Nicol Bolas, you can negative 9 Soren, negative 7 Elspeth. So, like, you just basically win the game, essentially. <clears throat> it either wins 20 to negative 200 or die. Yeah, there's no middle ground. That seems good. That seems like a good deck. Uh... Is Ethereal Absolution actually good? Is that seeing Legacy play? That's hilarious. There's a Vintage Rector deck? Wow. It's got three Arena Rectors in it. All right, let's take out the doubling seasons. We'll put in the ethereal absolution. I don't actually have one. That's sad. Kerwit, who's we? I didn't feel like I was invited.
This should be like four cents, right? Oh, zero, zero, nine tickets. Sure. The whole office is getting ice cream? That sounds like a lot of people. Put one of these bad boys in and... Yeah, Cruel Reality is pretty sweet. They're buying us ice cream. It will come to me. <laughs> I only have my ice cream come to me. All right, let's try it like this. Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. I'll keep that because we don't know what we're dealing with here. Oh, omniscience is omniscience is actually the the catch all. That's the that's the nice trick to make sure that if you have the card in hand, if you've drawn it, that you can actually just cast it. You can just put it into play. Turn one mana confluence, huh? Dredgems, dredgems, McMedgems. I actually have no idea what I would even name with uh, Cabal Therapy against Dredge. Can someone help me and let me know what to name with Cabal Therapy against Dredge? Lion's Eye Diamond? Do they think that we'd, do we think they'd have that if they didn't turn one it? I feel like they would have just played that on turn one, right? Let's try Breakthrough, I guess. That seems fine. Turn one Delver, I would name Delver. That's fair, that's a fair, that's a fair choice. Bridge, Colosseum, Colosseum, oh, literal nothing. Actual trash. I feel like if it doesn't haunt your dreams, that's probably a bigger problem. It haunts my waking thoughts. <laughs> I just looked up for my work and that was kind of startling to be honest. <laughs> that's all I can ask for guys, that's all I really want. That's the, uh, you know, things and stuff. Wow, they named Assassin's Trophy and I had an Assassin's Trophy. That is pretty good. Well, that's not what we're looking for at all. So what did you play? You played Coliseum? They did not put the Narco... Did they not put the Narco into play? 
Oh, they sacrificed it to the Cabal Therapy. Never mind, I'm a dummy. Oh, your magic guy's lost his mind. <laughs> oh, Lord, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. We have a good time. another another duder there's another cabal therapy too and you're gonna get some bridgy boys from it those bridgy boys are at it again <laughs> your magic guy <laughs> oh that's fantastic so long, Arena Rector. I really don't want the only card in their hand to be their dredge card or a... I feel like we're dead here, right? Can I London Mulligan to get... I'm just going to scoop this game. We're not... We have no way to win this game. Yeah. I do like omniscience over cruel reality though. That's a nice that's a nice change. Bring in in these guys. Taking out thought seizes, those seem terrible. Bitter Blossom seems fine. I took out one of the Cabal Therapies because there's not many cards I really want to make them discard. I don't hate this. I'll keep it. I wish I could mulligan to ley line, but absolution, yes, but it's also in our main deck, so. What are we playing? I'll never tell. That is not correct. Let's go for that LED. And nothing. Okay. And whiff. And looting gone. And grave troll gone. And... Huh. Over the bridge, huh? Oh, look, you hit a lion's eye down. I guess it's all going away anyway. And your whole hand is gone. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that was pretty boring, I guess. And pass.
Oh, this is awkward. Where's my third land? Well, I'm not going to attack because that's silly. I'm not going to block this because they fly. They also couldn't fight each other if they had to because one has flight so it couldn't reach it. So if you guys are new players out there and you guys want to know how fight works, uh, you can't, if one creature has flying and the other creature doesn't have flying, you can't actually fly, you can't actually fight each other because it can't reach. It just doesn't make sense. Unless it has reach, which it says in the name that it's able to reach it. So that's why it's called fight or flight. Because you can either fight or they might have fight, flight, flight, fight. So you have to actually look for the mechanic that's called fight, flight. And that's how you actually fight when they have flight so it's like that's just that's just life you know don't say academy rector oh you'll just say it next oh god they didn't say it they're like i'll give you one more turn jokes on you <laughs> Do you guys see that? It's a lot of things. Uh, what do you have? You're going to get an Ashen Rider. Mr. Ashen Rider. Well, this is just rude. Whenever I look away for a second, I can guarantee we're wearing those when I look back. That's good. I'm glad I give you this kind of consistency. I'm gonna go to the next game. I don't I don't like I don't like what's happening here. Do we have enough lands in the deck? 23 lands, that feels like enough. Five zombies, one rider, one beer. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> oh man, Mike would have lost it as well if you if you if you did that one while he was here. Moment of silence for Mike B. Still a little sad about what happened. He's always with us though. Hashtag never forget. <laughs> no, he is not actually dead. <laughs> oh man, why did you give up the dang it? We could do a Mike we can do a Mike birthday meme when he's on the stream and we can do a Mike died meme when he's not on the stream. That's just life. That's what happens when you become addicted to birthdays. God, he had one too many birthdays, you know? God, gets them every the kids. The kids in these birthdays nowadays. May your may good dreams carry you onto your next awakening, which will never be. You know what? It's better. It's better off this way, guys, because Mike hated waking up anyway. It was not. It was not one of his favorite things to do. One Michael, one beer. I have to go for my cleaning. You're overdue for your dental checkup and cleaning. We'd like to keep your smile healthy, so give us a call today and schedule. I'm gonna do that. 
I'm going to call them right now, actually, and schedule my appointment. It is 6 o'clock. They will probably not be there. I'm going to go on the internet and schedule my appointment. No one wants to join us here? That's fine. I'm going to request an appointment. Reason? Dental checkup. Primary concern? None. Just a checkup. I'm going to mulligan this hand. This is not much better. <sighs> Choose a date. Let's go. Let's go Friday. I got nothing to do Friday. Let's see what we got for Friday. Let's say afternoon on Friday. done another dredged oh it's the same dude dang it it doesn't matter whatever we thought sees they could just put in the graveyard it's so bad you thought you were making a dentist appointment nope just Chuck Testa wow that's an old meme right there and I need to get a haircut sometime. All right, hold on. Let me schedule that too. God, what a... All these things. Look at all these little guys going to the trash can. That's loud. Don't be loud. Dredge feels so bad game one. Like, is it just, do you just, are there decks that beat Dredge one, Dredge in game one? Like, it seems very hard to do. <laughs> Let's sell down with the appointments. How much upkeep are we talking? Teeth and hair. That's what we're looking at right now. Teeth and hair. I think that's all we got. Maybe I'll see the doctor too. The worst alphabet book ever. That sounds amazing. Charles Edward Cheese. <laughs> oh, Lord. The irony is that you actually spelled pterodactyl incorrectly. That's funny.
<sighs> also, guys, go check out my article on CoolStuffInc.com. It is uh, a Jund Demons di list in standard. Is this turn two? Am I just... I haven't missed a land drop or anything, right? Dear God. Oh, boy. And go leave a comment on that article if you could. I'd really appreciate it. I mean, only do it if you want to. I don't want you to do anything you don't want to do, but... The more, the more activity an article has, the better, because then it looks like it's well-received. And ideally, it will be well-received. But uh, yeah, definitely check it out and uh, let me know what you guys think. And also, if you're at Cool Stuff Inc. anyway and you want to use promo code FRANK5, anything you purchase, you will get 5% off, which is a pretty sweet deal. Are we dead? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That'll do. That'll do. You went 4 and 5 and you went 5 in four different leagues. I would have mentioned that. That seems insane. But I wasn't able to leave a comment on uh, only read them. I actually don't know why. I have no idea. No, you got me. It's a public post. Uh, I'm taking out thought seasons again. We'll take out one trophy. I don't like the trophies. They just don't have many good targets. They got two trophies. Yeah, I think I think five owing always uh, requires a, a, even a little bit of luck, especially in standard. Let's go Savannah into Veteran Explorer. Oh, they went to five. Fascinating. They didn't, they didn't do anything. That's fascinating. Do they have basic lands on their deck? That'd be fascinating. Show me that smile again. What do we want to get here? Who are my favorite authors? That's a good question. Um, hold on, let me figure this out. And we're definitely getting either Academy Rector or Arena Rector. I'm not sure which though. Drew, have a good, uh, have a good session, buddy. It might actually be Ethereal Absolution. That's pretty hilarious.
Let's name Thoughtseize. Eh, Cabal Therapy is rough. Oh, God. Ugh. I, I don't dislike fantasy. I don't read a ton of it, though. Welp. <laughs> See you later. Okay. Wow. And we get rid of bridges. That's pretty gas. I will exile Arena Rector. We are going to get... A Nickel Brolis. I will name Abattoir Ghoul. You didn't have that. Okay, we'll get rid of this. You got it. So they have Thug and Future Imp and Street Wraith and Street Wraith. And yeah, they can definitely bring back more Icarids if they want to. Actually, I feel like it wasn't Nicobolus now. I'm feeling like it should have been like maybe Omniscience, and then we can just play Splendor. Right, it only fetches Planeswalkers, but we could have actually gotten Academy Rector instead. Like, we Diabolic Intented, so we could have gotten whatever we wanted. Interesting. Uh, it doesn't die to Deed because Deed only kills creatures, artifact. Oh, it does kill creatures. Yeah, I guess that's true. Gain control of target creature. But they're just going to bring two Icarids back anyway, which is kind of stupid. Oh, yeah, you're right. We can't actually target it. Icarids are coming back. Yeah, I really don't want to kill one of my own lands. What we could do is actually target the... Um... And, then, and then activate this for zero so that we still get the plus. And then we get to exile the last bridge.
Yeah, so Nicobolus dies, which is unfortunate. If we draw any Rector, though, we can actually play Cabal Therapy and flashback Cabal Therapy, which is nice. The God Pharaoh Walker? Uh, I think it's worse than Nicobolus Planeswalker. I think it's very good, but I think it's definitely worse than this one. What did they name? They named... Named Dial Block Intent. That's pretty good. I think Intent is very good. Being able to Dial Block Intent your own Veteran Explorer to set up your... Well, that's rough. So they have one, two, yeah, they still have plenty of creatures to bring back Icarids with. be legacy dredge that deck doesn't even seem like it's <sighs> i don't know if elspeth's good enough maybe it would have been good enough there i don't actually even know maybe soren's the one that's not good enough let's put the elspeth back like what gets you out of a situation like that where like they're making a bunch of guys and you want to like a like, Overwhelming Splendor's Night. Curse of Death's Hold was also a card that's uh, usually played in here. Which is, I guess, it's in the sideboard, so. Legacy Dread is right. Wow. Three white sources, huh? And an otherwise great hand. Yeah, this is pretty brutal. Yeah, we have, like, before we have four Leylands of the Void, they didn't do anything. It's a good one. Polluted Delta, I don't actually know what I'd be hitting here, so.
preordain island. Was this Delver? Yeah, I was definitely gonna name Young Pyromancer. Actually, that was my that was my go-to there. Okay, well, Young Peasy. Ponder, ponder, duress, chrome mox, cabal ritual. Okay. Now we know what's going on here. As long as they don't kill us this turn, they're going to kill us this turn. That's fine, because you can get rid of two cards I don't care about. What was the... I have a version of this deck, I believe. As in Nick Fit. This is the, no, that's the Water Sports True version. Oh, Eureka is the other card that's actually in this deck that I've seen. Sandworm Convergence is also in the deck. Um, Nicobolus Godfara is in the deck, along with Nicobolus Planeswalker. So is Dovescape. And so you're playing the four Living Wish, three Rector, three Rector, and three Eureka, which is interesting. Like this, the the other versions I've seen go more in on the combo, like this one. Whereas, like you don't care about Assassin's Trophy, you don't care about Lingering Souls, you're just trying to get the combo pieces as quickly as can, as quickly as can. And you have the other uh, the other Rectors in the sideboard. Okay, so they cast Preordain and they cast Duress and they played. Swamp. So let's see. So they go, Lotus Petal gone. Dark Ritual into Cabal Ritual. And then you've cast one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh boy. <clears throat> oh, Cabal Ritual gone. Cabal Ritual gone. Storm count seven. We need to get a ponder. Okay, storm count eight. And you have no cards in hand. Are you fucking kidding me? Exhausting. Cool. Exactly 10 with every single card in your hand. Must be nice.
Right, I'm not saying they didn't see it on top of their deck. I'm aware that they like knew that the, that the Infernal Tutor was there. I'm saying that like if they had one fewer cards, like one fewer Cabal Rituals, they probably couldn't have gone off based on mana alone or Storm Count. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, we also probably don't need Absolution because we already have uh, Curse of Death's Hold in the sideboard, right? So we don't need both of these, I guess. We have a lot of ways to deal with tokens is what I'm trying to do. Like, if in the case they can start going... Uh, Empty the Warrens. We have Curse of Death's Hold. We have, I guess, Overwhelming Splendor doesn't do anything. Absolute and probably better than Curse. Curse is cheaper, so I kept Curse because I could probably cast it. Right, Curse is easier to cast, correct. And I'm not going to be exiling their, their graveyard. I'm not going to be exiling their creatures to make guys, so... Aggressive. Are you just going to kill me this turn? <laughs> sure. Sometimes when you get them, you just kind of get them. Well, that's your spell for the turn. Canonist is a human, too. Pass the turn. Can I get a black source? That'd be great. I'd appreciate it. Well, biscuits. It's kind of like a black source, but not really. Right 
It technically does make black mana. That's a good point. That is a good point. Well, that is your spell for the turn. Every time they play like a preordain or a ponder, I'm just like, that'll do. All right. That's your, that's your spell. This is why I'm almost not even a fan of any caverns whatsoever, because like if this was any black land, we'd be in good shape. I don't think the other version uses caverns, do they? No. Like, you just have... Black sources are 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. What are our black sources at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's four fewer black sources in our, in our version. Hmm. If cavern didn't say creature, oh my god, dude. Oh yeah, so you can name a card. Uh, you could name a creature type, and because it's a fairy. Yep. Yeah, again, that's your spell for the turn. This is great. All right. Well, we're not dead. There's a lot of things happening here. <laughs> My eight-year-old was on a computer in his room for like two hours. I asked what he was doing. He said, I found fake error message generator and I've been generating errors and sending them to my best friend. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah, I'll be honest. The only thing I want to do with this deck is churn out these dudes and uh... what is the point of which deck? Our deck or their deck? The one we are playing, uh, it's to get out an Arena Rector or Academy Rector as fast as you can. And then, oh, thank goodness. And then use... Um, uh, wait, wait, wait. So we can only play one thing, right? So... Yeah, just make sure you don't use Proxy City of Traders in, in actual tournaments, because that's kind of shady. We didn't attack first. That's probably going to cost us the game, I bet. Okay, what Planeswalker are we putting into play? Where did Nicol Bolas go? It's in our hand. Let's get... I kind of like getting a deed here. Yeah, we can't double cast therapy because... We already have a ley line in play. I mean, I don't, I don't see why I would want a second ley line. Like if they're one of their main answers is like echoing truth, so I don't really want them to bounce ley line. Like double double doubling up on these cards actually doesn't seem like it does much. I'd rather just have like Knight of Autumn to destroy Lion's Eye Diamond or Pernicious Deed to destroy both of these. Which I think is actually probably fine.
Yeah, this sucks because they actually would have went to three here, which means they would be dead to both attacks and to... Well, they would be dead to Ugin, the Spirit Dragon's ability, but now only one of them has to survive, or both of them have to survive, rather, in order to win this game. So... And they lost the game because they suck. No, just kidding. I'm not. They do suck, but that's not why they lost the game. I mean, is the graveyard relevant? Like, it didn't seem like they were playing Past in Flames, right? Like, Leyline just seems not great, right? I'll put one Leyline in. Maybe it's fine. It does turn off Threshold. And they do have Lion's Eye Diamond, right? So, like... No, Ethereal Absolute is just better. Like, uh, this is easier to cast. We can cast this on turn five if it's in our hand, so. This is rough, but we do have a canonist. Might be worth keeping. I also don't know if I love the Dryad Arbor in the deck. Like it's just it hinder I feel like it hinders your draws, but maybe I'm Yeah, like the other version doesn't have Dryad Arbor. Like I feel like just you want to be able to play Veteran Explorer on turn one. I think it's a little too cute. But I like that we're figuring out. We're figuring things out. We're getting there. There you go. I almost did it for you. That is so sad. Yeah, we're going to go dry at Arbor for no value. Next time we're going to go explore. Yeah, the problem with having something to, to search for and sack for therapy, I get, I totally get it, like, and that seems reasonable. Um, the problem is that this just doesn't come up enough in practice, I don't think. Like, we, we only have five fetch lands as well, so it's not like we're going super hard on the fetch lands. I actually don't know what you'd take here. If you take Veteran Explorer, we can still play Sylvan Library. Taking Cabal Theory doesn't mean right. Taking one of these could be good, but I, I don't know. Veteran Explorer seems pretty relevant here. We get the sack and go up to Rector mana. And then we'd still have Diabolic Intent.
apparently they agree that it is a pretty difficult decision. <laughs> Cabal therapy, interesting choice. Oh, Phyrexian Tower. So, sack this, we get two lands out of it. We could play Explorer, sack it for two, get two lands, tap the two, play it. Oh, this is actually insane, right? Yeah, this is a really sick turn. Let's get Plains and Forest. Wrecked her, damn near killed her. What do we name here? Hmm, I will definitely exile this. What do we get? Let's get Nicol Bolas. What are we naming? Nicol Bolas gets to kill their lands, which is really uh, pretty important. <sighs> Infernal sounds good, actually. Massacre, Dark Ritual, Preordain. Okay, good to know. That feels okay. I feel like that was a good turn. No, oh, Massacre kind of sucks. Your Massacre kind of sucks, buddy. It was an okay turn, too. Hitting their black so they can't Dark Ritual seemed good. We can also hit their island next turn, guys. I might even make this deck in paper. I mean, this is one of my favorite archetypes. Like I said, I love... Okay, so that's that's the card you drew. Um, I love the the opportunity that this deck presents to play big things like Nicol Bolas and Ugin. Okay, so they Dark Ritualed. But you know these two and that's all you know, right? Okay, so you have one Massacre in hand and whatever this Preordain gets you. Okay, so now you literally just have the preordain. All right. Infernal tutor to get anything, sure. I think you've played one, two, three, four. But you have four mana, so you can't actually get another Infernal Tutor and chain them. I mean, Empty the Warrens seems good here, sure. <laughs> oh, sometimes you're just validated, my dudes. Oh, boy. Chef's kiss, my dude. Chef's kiss. Your turn.
To be fair, we had a lot of draws and a lot of turns there. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm loving it. Oh, that's weird. All right. Anyway, let's get rid of... I'm going to get rid of this Dryad Arbor and add another Windswept Heath. I want to add another Windswept Heath, actually, and take out... Take out a Cavern of Souls. Like, Cavern... Like, no one's countering Veteran Explorer. No one's countering these guys, really. I'd rather just have more black sources. Um... I kind of like Eureka a lot, but those decks also have a bunch more on the top end. Like, for us, I think Diabolic Edict is good. This is also kind of a grindier version of the deck. I think it's actually... What else do we... Did we mention anything else like that we were going to take out? Like, oh, I don't like this, I don't like that. I think it was just the mana base. Like, we talked about the uh, the Cavern of Souls and also talked about having less less black mana. Or more black mana, rather. Everything else, I think, is fine. Also, Bitter Blossom can't be cast. Lingering can't be cast off of Cavern of Souls. But right now, we added two Windswept Heaths, and we took out the, 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 the Dryad Arbor and the other one, so... Whoa, black mana, bam. <laughs> oh, black mana, the job. Yeah, the only reason I don't like this is because you do have Curse in the sideboard. I don't think it's... Maybe we just want the other Nickel Bolas. What does this dude do? They exile two cards. They exile cards until you get a non-land card. They discard, they discard two cards from their hand. They deal seven damage. Exile each non-land permit they control. What are some of the... Dang it, Magic Online. What are some of the cards in the other deck that we were playing outside that they're they're using for big big bad boys? Sandworm Convergence is pretty sweet. I like the Dubscape Sandworm Convergence combo. That's pretty nice. But I mean, obviously they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And omniscient so they have 11 cards in the deck that are actually targets for these uh so you can see why eureka is a lot better in this version because you're just actually having a ton more things to do also collective brutality uh is a great way to discard uh these cards when they're stuck in your hand i could actually see playing one collective Maybe over, maybe two over thought season, then we still get one more shot to uh, do whatever. But I like one collective brutality here. One, two, three, four, five. I don't think this is enough though. We only have like five top end guys. Let's add a sandworm convergence. Let's take out one thought seize. I do like this. Well, the Soren was actually pretty pretty sweet. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's correct, but it was pretty cool to have. So we just try it like that. And we'll play one more time. Convergence actually might only be good with the uh, with the Dovescape because it's kind of a combo because you're giving them birds that can't attack, right? Creatures with, fly without, with flying can't attack you. So you're actually, it's kind of like a lock. Also, Karn could be good too. Maybe I like Soren. Um, I just don't think we need Sylvan Library. I, I like it a lot, but I just don't know if we need it. Let's try it like this. Let's see what happens. Just cut the do nothings like a Arena Rector and Academy Rector. Solid. Solid strategy. 
Hey man, I can't help but notice you have a bunch of cards that don't really do anything, like uh, Arena Rector and Academy Rector. Because there aren't any good ones, wow. Big Garrick over Karn? Hmm. Destroying any permanent's very good. Like, I don't think you're as concerned with destroying creatures or planeswalkers. Really helps dig to your good cards. Wow, Skeletal Cat. I feel like you're really on it right now. Why is everyone taking so long? That's just 2CMC. He's such a great deal. Let's, let's slow down. Oh, Black Betty, Ramble, Ramble, oh, Black Minute. Text is actually appearing on your screen before it hits mine. Never seen that before. Well, did you try refreshing? Oh, I actually don't have a delay. So. That means your stream is ahead. Refresh might make it worse. I might be watching tomorrow's stream if I refresh. <laughs> yeah, so actually I was like, I don't know how time works, buddy. I, I just, I, I'm like, oh, there's a delay, either positive or negative. Well, uh, you might as well refresh, I guess. That's the, that's the, that's the solution to everything. Oh man, just someone joined the queue for crying out loud. I just want to slam some Karns. Can you hold up a newspaper? <laughs> oh, man. What is a newspaper? Wow, multiple is that's a, what's a newspaper jokes make me sad. So don't forget, guys, after this round, I'm probably going to get out of here, but tonight we are going to be doing Commander. It'll probably be me and Mike. Mike gets off around like 9.30. So at around 9.45, we're going to go get some food. We should be back here by about 11 Eastern, so 8, 8, 8 p.m. in the on the West Coast. So if you guys are available around 11 p.m., it's going to be a little later. We're going to play some Commander. So. so get your Commander decks ready. No one wants to play Legacy with me, though. Oh, Avast Games. Oh, what up, Avast Games? The hero we needed. How many games do I plan on playing? Probably, like, two games. Commander takes a while. Commander is a is a long... Look at this. We already have a black and a white source in our hand. I kept this hand because it's incredible. Avast Games is like, I know your entire deck, dude. I don't have to snipe. I already know all your information. Ooh, excuse me. Did you guys hear that? Was that loud enough that you heard it? Also, none of you went to coolstuffinc.com and commented on my article so that they know I'm doing a bang up job. Not one not one extra comment is up there. You guys are hurtful. You guys are you guys are bad friends. Just kidding, I love you all. It's totally fair and reasonable to try and queue up with you as BR group. What is BR? Also, 
anybody who played against me should probably just be running Tybalt's because it's such a good... That's what I thought, BR. Okay, literally thought. That's, that's what I thought, you see. <laughs> um... It's funny because we have omniscience to be able to put the, the cards we can't cast into play for free. But uh, here we have omniscience in hand. So, like, I guess we can discard this because the omniscience is in hand. Oh, God. Check the article now. Please don't be something negative or bad. Hey, Steven. Thank you so much, buddy. <laughs> that's a good one. Perfect. That's all. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. Um, I'll choose you, and I'll choose you. I'll discard Om Omni Science. Ooh, Cathartic Re- Oh, what is this deck? Look at this Madness deck. This is gas. Black Betty was a child. Ramble Lamb went wild. Ramble Oh, Black Betty. All right, Mongrel came down, Mountain came down. I don't have Facebook. Does yelling at my computer screen help with comments? It sure does. Can you record it and post it on Face? Oh, dang it. Who doesn't have Facebook in 2019? How do you even keep track of people? How do you even, like... How do you know who's alive? That's weird. Guys, spoiler alert, I am 100% blocking. That's very weird that you... Do people not use it? How do you guys keep how do you guys keep in touch with each other? Like if I want to chat with someone, how do you guys how do you guys do that? If not via Facebook. Curry, you message me like every day on Facebook, dude. You're always like, hey man, look at these shelves I bought. <laughs> hey man, I bought some bowls and I actually had them sent to your address. <laughs> this week, I've gotten two actual packages from Kerwit. One was some random bowls that he just bought off Amazon because he needed new bowls. And another one was a 12 pack of protein shakes. And uh, both of them were just because he forgot to change back the address to his own address when he was making purchases. It was, uh, it's, it's probably the highlight of my week, I think. All right, so R Rudy Boy is down. Mong Mongrel number dose? Okay. Hmm. He didn't forget. Those were gifts. Oh, you were thinking Rector to go get Splendor? I was thinking Rector to go get, uh, to get Ugin and then negative fiving Ugin. He's like, these are real subtle clues, man. I am gonna get... Yeah, we're just getting... We're getting Snoogan. Oh my god. Let's do five, because otherwise they can... Oh, they can't actually... They don't have enough to... They don't have enough to put a guy in play. The joke is on me. And I'll play this guy in one, two, three, four. Rector. Would you like to exile this? Oh god, yes. Oh my god, yes. Oh 
I have all of the things. Jabroni Bobo, thanks for saying so, buddy. Appreciate it. Oh, what? What? Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna get Bitter Blossom here. Bitter Blossom gives us infinite things to sack to Diabolic Edicts or what have yous, so. Pernicious Deed. I mean, I might as well play Deed here, right? Surely someone has, you guys know that uh, one of my memes, like one of my old timey memes from TCG player is that anytime a card had ER in the name, I would say damn, damn near whatever that is, or, you know, so like Boros Reckoner, I'd be like Reckoner, damn near killed her. Like it was a, it was, that was like an ongoing meme that I used to do for my articles. So people always, they always mention that to me comically uh, because they remember that kind of thing. And uh, so you can, you can be, you can be sure that I've definitely made that joke here. I'm going to block this guy. Oh, it was Reckoner I barely... It was I barely know her, isn't it? That's that's the one. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to go to game two now. Um, I don't think we want any real... There's never, nothing really here that's great for us. Canonist. Canonist is... Nah, it's not great. Probably want just Abrupt Decays, I guess. I like when I move two cards... It shows three cards in the, in the in the little uh Beaston, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome. Tier two sub, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Beaston makes me feel good. I'm about to bust. Probably want pernicious eh, deeds is good. De deeds is good. Deeds is good, people. I probably don't want thoughts these. <laughs> eh, I can take the better blossom out, I guess. I feel like we actually don't have enough enchantments. Like our only enchantments are right now are Overwhelming Splendor and Omniscience, right? That just doesn't seem great. Most of our things are Planeswalkers, so we could probably go like a 4-2 split, or we can just increase the uh, the quality of our enchantments. I will keep this hand. I don't know if it's great. Fancy to you here for the legaciest of times. I see we're now reckoning the, turn, the time to burst. <laughs> That's true. Death Knight's Hold? I think you just made that card up. That ain't even a real card. You made that up. I don't even know who Super Seducer 2 is. I, you like how I said, I said that sentence and I didn't even finish it? I'm like, I don't even know who Super Seducer 2 is a little red mark here it'll go away in time that's life <laughs> well with those glasses I think super seducer is you I think we figured out the. I think we've cracked the case.
I don't even know who that is. Is that eyeliner tattooed on? I'll never tell. Look at these evolving wilds. This is not okay. This is like legacy light over here. Um, that's probably fine. What could this be? I don't actually know what this is. Just gotta live life one little red. That's true. You do. You just gotta see. It's funny because you you can't even see it when the camera's like this. You're just like, oh, no big deal. And then I'm like, oh no, look at this little red mark right here. That's life. It's a woolly mammoth. Actually, I mean, I, it's possible. I just work here, guys. Yeah, we'll just get a scrubby boy. Actually, probably could have got a bayou there. Felt better about our life choices. This is a nose picking stream now, boys. That's right. That's correct. It was the best of times. It was the nose pickiest time. I'm on like a five month chain, but I changed the tier to hope it doesn't reset. I don't think it will, but maybe because it doesn't say. But your your icon is still the same, so I think it's actually fine. Okay, these are actually bigger than I thought. This guy doesn't have trample though. I'm gonna exile it. Boop boop. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get omniscience actually, because then we can go rector, sack it, rector, sack it, diabolic intent, sack it, rector, sack it. Like this is gonna, this is gonna make us go infinite. Oh god! Unless they kill the omniscience, they didn't kill the omniscience. I think we did it. Uh, let's cast with omniscience. Let's cast with omniscience. I just want to do cool things all night long. All night. Let's cast with omniscience. Let's green sack this thing yes let's get an overwhelming splendor name you let's cast with omniscience let's get more green sources Oh, we get to search for... I, forgot, I totally forgot we got to get a, a thing, too. No, isn't that nice? Does it matter? Probably not. Let's cast without missions. <laughs> Legacy's a cool format. Let's cast without missions. I'm steal this guy. Let's see what we get. Oh, that's rude. Let's cast with omniscience. No, just kidding. We're just casting normal. Um, let's cast with omniscience. <laughs> All right, we get it. You're casting with omniscience. I think we're actually out of forests. Oh, we have one more. Is it a rector? Come on, it is a rector. Cast with omniscience. Do we actually have any more enchantments? I think we're actually out of enchantments. I guess we can get um, Bitter Blossom number two. Oh, no, we can't. Just Pernicious Deed. I don't foresee us using that. Cast with I'm... 
omniscience. That's not going to do it. I don't think we have any green left. We could have actually shot this with an Ugin if we wanted to. I guess we're just going to have to pass here, unfortunately. I'll attack you for one. Uh, it's pronounced Omniscience. What are we casting with? Can you confirm? Uh, we're going to cast with Omniscience. You're a scientist, so you, you know all about Omniscience. I took a point from this guy, though. That's pretty good. Let's get a Soren Grim Nemesis. I'm going to shoot this guy. I'm going to exile and see if I get... No, cast this guy. I'm going to... Collective Brutality. Oh my god. <laughs> cast... <laughs> Escalate with three modes. Uh, target you. Target this guy. Target you. Oh, I still have to discard the cards? Whatever, that's fine. I guess I could have chosen two modes. Boop, 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 boop. Are they dead? Four? Dang it. I guess we could have killed them with this. God, we're just not even killing them anymore. We didn't have any creatures left. <laughs> we have gone through all six of our rectors. Wow. Oh, boy. Are you trying to mana burn? <laughs> Typical. Stop! He's already dead. We have no more creatures left in our deck, so... This is what's going to happen. I'm going to let Ugin do it. He's been through enough in his life. Got him. Got him. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description along with MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. It's a great deal. As people have also mentioned in the stream today, it, they're super comfortable. You can also check out Mana Traders. The link is in the description below along with the promo code. And if you use that promo code, you will get 20% off your first three months of a subscription. Any subscription you choose. It's a great deal if you're looking to borrow uh, Magic Online cards or physical cards. Even physical paper cards. You can rent decks for your events. Super sweet service. They're great guys. And you can also check out CoolStuffInc.com and use promo code FRANK5. You can find my articles there or you can get 5% off your total purchase. Either way. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.